Solar power for beginners. This system is so easy. Solar is so simple to set up and connect these days. You can buy solar panels online and the connections are pre-made. You just click things together and hook it up. But you can never hook it up to the grid yourself. Solar and battery systems are easy to install and connect, but you can never connect it to the utility yourself. This would save you thousands of dollars. If you could do this yourself, solar would be much less expensive. Hi, I'm Joel Robinson. I'm a founder, builder, and solar entrepreneur in Montana. I help businesses and homeowners save money and improve resiliency by going solar and battery. Installing your own system is a do-it-yourself project where the homeowner or your neighbors our friends install solar panels on the roof, run wire down off the roof, and connect to an electrical box and interconnect to the utilities company wires. This magical little point where the solar system wires connect to the utility wires is called interconnection. And this point is so important to understand because it changes everything. It goes from doing it yourself, you and your friends on a weekend, to now all of a sudden we have a licensed electrician. We have permits. We have plan sets. We have all of these things that require, uh, that are required by the utility to interconnect. And what happens is the systems become much more expensive. One note is in Utah, they are changing this. They do have what's called a balcony solar system where you can hang it off the balcony. And the interconnection is literally just back through a plug-in where you can back feed the system. But they're very small, just a couple panels. And they're designed to hang off your balcony. It's really exciting information. And I'm watching it really closely. But I wanted to help people understand why can they buy solar panels online or buy these things from other places? And it's it's a lot cheaper than a quote that they're getting from an installer. That's because of this magical point called interconnection. And a do-it-yourself project can't interconnect with the utility system. Instead, has to be a licensed electrician. And that licensed electrician has to follow a specific plan set. And we have to request permission from the utility themselves. What this means is that there's a much higher standard of work. Everything changes. It's all reviewed, engineered, and designed to certain specifications. And what does that mean? It's a big price increase from a do-it-yourself system to a professionally installed. This is a really important thing to understand is that uh, off-grid systems that are not connected to the grid, they can be done by a do-it-yourself person. They can be done by a handyman or someone uh, with, uh, with some skills in electrical. But once we talk about interconnection, which is this magic point where the utilities wires, right, which comes in off a telephone pole and runs into an electrical box, where those and the solar system interconnect, this magical point where they connect to each other. And I laugh a little bit because it's, it's not magic. It's just a regular connection. But we're taking two different worlds and combining them. We're taking the utilities, regulated, engineered network, and connecting it to a distributed energy resource. Usually, we just call it solar or solar and battery backup. But this term distributed energy resources is a specific definition by the utility. And connecting those two together, we have to take into consideration all of the utilities, planning, size of wires, transformers, everything that's involved to engineer the utility grid or network that we can and we'll call about call it when it connects to that distributed energy uh, resource solar and battery backup we have to sync the two we have to make sure that those two are compatible and that requires a lot of extra engineering 
lot of ex expertise, requires permits, requires permission from the utility to operate. And one of the best examples is um, send, is back feeding, right? In some situations, solar will overproduce, it'll produce more than the house needs, and it's going to send that electricity back out to the grid. Well, the, the solar power is clean. It's the same electricity. It's no different, but it has to meet those standards of the utility. And usually we're talking about how much power. Are we in excess of the transformer? Are we in excess of the wire size itself to backfeed? Can the utility handle that additional power? And the most part is yes. The utility's grid is, <clears throat> is sized uh, quite large or, or over-engineered, and it can take this extra power. Most of the engineering and plan sets are, are simple enough, come well under the specifications to backfeed, but we still have to go through all this extra work to install an engineered, professionally designed system that meets all of the electrical standards in order to install these systems. So everybody asks me, well, why, why are DIY systems so much cheaper? Why can we find these parts online for a different price than what an installer is, is selling it for? And this point of interconnection, this magical special point is really uh, interesting point. And I laugh because it's not special. It's, there's nothing unique about it, but it is a connection point between two different worlds. Uh, solar and battery world connected to the utility grid. And if you could buy the system, install it yourself and interconnect, you could save a lot of money, but you can't. You have to have it professionally done. Learn more from me about purchasing systems and understanding solar energy by um, subscribing to the channel below or watch another video and learn more.